Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and in today's video I'll be going through a star delta starter circuit in details. So one, two, three, these three contactors are what makes up our star delta starter circuit. But before we get into that, let's turn our eyes to this right here. So the first thing we're gonna look at is this, right? So these are our three coils. One, two, three, right? This is a three-phase system because you know a star delta starter circuit is used to start three-phase induction motor. Um, how that works is that it starts the motor. It starts. It starts the it starts the induction motor with a Y configuration or a star configuration and then changes to delta when it's running hence the star delta so star delta it starts in star and then run in delta um, and this is done to have a lower current and start up and prevent initial overloading and starting right so we have our three coils U1 to, v, to U2, V1 to V2, and W1 to W2. So these are our three coils 1, 2, 3. Right? Hence, you're going to end up with six wires U1, V1, W1, and U2, V2, W2. And then you'll have the coil inside of the motor. Right? So, what you're going to see outside of the motor is u1 v1 w1 u2 v2 w2 if you switch to over here so this motor that i'm doing the demonstration on this is actually a, a motor that is running an air compressor so this motor has since been rewired and um the initial labeling is somewhat rubbed off so on the yellow here initial labeling is rubbed off and it was re rewired and relabeled so it is labeled one through to six hence why I have a different set of coil over here labeled one through to six right so all of these correspond so we have one two three that is u1 v1 w1 we have four five six that is u2 v2 w2 so um you guys can go ahead and take a screenshot or a picture of this so wherever you see u1 you know that is one wherever you see v1 you know that is two wherever you see w1 you know that is three u2 that is four v2 that is five w2 that is six and you get the gym right because as i said we re we rewire our motor and the labeling the initial labeling um was the initial labeling is not clear anymore so we we relabel our motor All right so next thing we are going to do is i'm going to show you our delta circuit all right so this is our delta circuit and here one two three we have our three coils which comprise and make our delta circuit right so here you realize that one and six is connected to line one four and two is connected to line two three and five is connected to line three right and then on the y side you have one connected to l1 two connected to l2 three connected to l3 and then four five and six is connected together so let me show you that in reality right so if you see here this is line one right line one that is our line one that is our line one line one and line one to get to our delta 
line one will be connected to one and six but something you can note is that um one and six doesn't necessarily have to connect to line one it can one and six could be connected to line two and one and six could be connected to line three and four and two could be connected to line one four and two could be connected to line three but what is important is that four and two are connected to the same line right as long as four and two is connected to the same line we are good or as long as three and five is connected to the same line we are good same thing with one and six connected to the same line we are good i hope you guys understand that right but as long as they connect to the same line so for instance we might make a switch in our actual circuit here so this would be my line one which is my blue phase here come up here here so if you notice this is line one and to line one when the contactor makes contact right line one will be connected to two you see it's labeled two right but if you check up on top here we have a jumper cable right this jumper cable right here which brings it over here as well to this contactor and to this line we have four so this means that two and four is connected to line one right so two and four is connected to line one because we have a bridge circuit we have a jumper cable at the top so so when the two of them make contact these two contactors made contact two and four will connect to line one here we have two and four connecting to line two but as i was stating before it doesn't mean that it has to be line two it can be line one or line three as long as they are connected to the same line right let's go to the next one so this is my line two which is my black phase come up here my line two right and then we have a jumper cable going over here so on line two we have one and by now you should know which one should be connect which one should correspond with one which is six right so one and six connect to the same line which is line two right so we have our one and six here and on our diagram we connect it to line two but um just to can just to not confuse you guys i can change it so i can just change this to two two and i can change this to one right just so I don't confuse anyone now let me go to line 3 which is my red base come up at top here and then we have our jumper going from here to here and then that would be 3 and if you can see 5 right same thing here three and five which i connect to line three three and five connected to line three right and if i could should just run back through it quickly my line one my line one i have two and i have four right see them here two and four see them here two and four as i said this is my line one and then i have my six and my one connected to line two they have it one and six and they are on the same line because i jump them over like this so one i jump one to one here i jump two to two here and i jump three to three here right so that is my delta circuit now let me move to my star circuit but before i move to my star circuit let me show you in U, V, and W. If you don't understand it in one, if you don't understand it in one, two, three. So same place we have one and six. It means that so this is one and this is six. So that will correspond with U one and W two. So so my line one would be U one. They will connect your U one and your V one on the same phase. So let me just write it out for you so you can understand it. So. This would be U1, U, that would be U1, 
and no sorry this would actually be double two so six would be six would be double two one would be u1 four would be u2 two would be v1 five would be v2 and three would be w1 so this is it w2 to u1 u2 to v1 v2 to w1 right let me just also write it out for the star right here so one this is u1 this is v1 and this is w1 and then here i would have u um, yeah u2 u2 this would be v2 and this would be w2 right so now let me jump to my star circuit star and it's the same thing so to my star circuit all right so let me go to the star circuit now so here on the diagram as you see we have four five and six being connected together right four five and six being connected together you can also refer to it as u2 v2 and w2 right so these are them four five and six right there we have it and then we have this jumper cable here from the bottom right so it's not at the top where we have the live coming in you know it's not at the top here where we have the live coming in it's at the bottom right so when this is not in contact nothing is passing down here right so we have our three jumper cable going to this contact over here and the contact over here will bridge out all of the contact and contacts at top so when this contactor is closed it means that one two three is short so right it also means four five and six is short so so when this contactor close it means that all of these are connected which is my four five and six which would also be u2 v2 w2 right and then you'll have then you'll have one two and three are u1 v1 and w1 connected to line one line two and line three so that would be up here this would also be closed this will also be closed so one two and three will be connected to line one two and three i'm going to show you i'm going to put the circuit in operation and show you what exactly happened so when it starts in star right this contactor will close and this contactor will close so when this contactor close it means it means one two and three is connected to line one two and three right because this will close right and then also this will close which means that four five and six will be connected with each other that is the first thing that is going to happen when the motor reaches to a certain speed this is going to be open right and then this is going to be closed so i mean that the star circuit will be disengaged and these two contactors will now be engaged right which means that the circuit is now connected in delta and i already explained the delta circuit to you guys right so it's going to be started like this it's going to be started like this with this contactor and this contactor and then this contactor is going to be released and this contactor is going to be engaged along with this so these two first just like this these two first will be engaged and then this one will disengage this one will be engaged so this is star this is delta right so that's pretty much it guys i hope i i hope i cover everything that you guys want to know right so you have the delta and we have the star so now i'm going to show you how it works when it is in action 
I'm not going to show you on this one though because this one currently has a fault that I'm trying to troubleshoot but I'm going to show you on the other one um, what exactly happened okay. so this is it same circuit same exact circuit so my two contacts are for my delta my contacts are for my um, my star this is a contact for the fan that cools the compressor not, don't get into that and if you notice all oh, this one is labeled it is labeled with the U1, W1, V1 and the V2, U2, W2 so same principle so I'm now going to start it you're going to look at these two first con two, these two contactors first which is going to be latch for which is going to be engage for the star and then watch as it changes to the delta so let's go and start it so i stop it just to show you one more time i'm going to show you one more time how it's done so watch again as i as i'm about to start it look closely so there you have it guys this was another video brought to you by the nice electrical services for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at the nice electrical services thank you